So, I don't believe that cop watching in of itself is that it's not a silver bullet. It's not going to solve any problems, and I, I have no illusions that it will. The thing about cop watching, cop watching is it's a very uh, meaningful tactic, and it does a lot um, for people who can only go out and engage uh, on occasion. And so, cop watching is great because it does many different things at once. One is it shows solidarity with the person who's being detained or having some sort of interaction with the police. It's a, usually a very lonely place. Two is it changes the behavior of police officers. So most police officers will uh, sort of draw back um, or uh, cool down when they, see, when they know someone's filming them. Less likely to abuse someone, less likely to uh, commit a crime against someone. Uh, three is it provides uh, potential evidence in a criminal case to support uh, the defendant. Uh, we, we would never share video with the police to go after someone, but we would happily share it with the defendant so that they could defend themselves. Um, four is it can be used uh, by that person in a civil suit at some case. And so uh, three, three times people have used our videos thus far uh, in a civil suit uh, type scenario, which is great. Uh, five, is that it helps build community. It builds community both uh, amongst the people who are actually in the community where the police are engaging, you know, for them to see people out there. Um, it's, uh, you know, just like the person who's dealing with the cop, there's solidarity there. Uh, oftentimes people in the community see that and they recognize that they can play a role in their sort of self-defense against the police state. And it definitely builds community amongst activists. Uh, cop watching is a very, intimate and social uh, thing for activists to do. Uh, it carries risk and, you, and there's real benefit, it's real tangible when you're out there and so it builds a community within the activist circles as well. So.